Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. The state of the South African construction industry is worsening. Irma Fenter joins me to discuss the difficulties facing the industry. Hi Irma. Hi Shalom. What has contributed to the decline in the industry? I think basically there are a number of problems, but probably we can start with state's uh, infrastructure budget just declining at a rapid rate. So I think this year we've seen a 12% nominal decline. So there's just no money for infrastructure spend, so that creates a problem for, for companies then who have the people on their payroll, they're ready to build, but there's just no projects. The same for the private sector. I mean, if you look at the economy, that's also just down in, down in the doldrums, and you can imagine there's no work coming forward. So that's a bit of a problem for the companies, and you can see a number of companies have closed down. We even have companies in business rescue, such as um, Basil Reed and, and Group 5. It's not all entirely the economy, but it contributes definitely to their demise. So we have that problem, and then, of course, on the back of this, you have professionals leaving the industry and leaving South Africa. So the South African Forum of Civil Engineering Contractors have a list of 110 highly skilled people who have left South Africa, and they were in the construction industry. So we have this decline in, in, in expertise within the industry. And then we have another peculiar problem that has kind of cropped up in the last few years, and that is kind of like mafia-like behavior on construction sites. So that apparently spilled over, says Safasek, from um, Kuzilin and Tal to the rest of the country. And that's not your normal communities looking for work necessarily next to a construction site or demanding to be part of that contract. It's more like people with guns showing up and demanding a kind of a payment, a kind of work, or be part of the contract, a cut of the contract for no work or perhaps a little bit of work. So, and that's creating quite a problem because n normally these guys, says Safsek again, are like politically linked. So there's this kind of mafia-like behavior endangering the lives of the people, construction people on site then and of the construction project itself. And, and this is creating quite a big problem for the industry. In the long term, how will this impact on the industry and South Africa? I think we'll see a decline in our expertise as a country, our ability as a country to go out and build a, a complicated kind of project. So we would be dependent on the French or the Chinese to come in and, and build uh, contracts and projects for us. So if, for example, we win another big sporting event, let's say the FIFA World Cup of Women, I think we're probably going to put a bid in for that. Then you have to ask, are we able and capable as a country to provide the infrastructure required for that, or will we have to import those skills? SAFSEC is asking for government's intervention. What is the industry body asking for? Well, CEO Webster Mfebe um, has written a letter to Tito Mbubini, the Minister of Finance. He's got a response from the Minister saying the matter is, 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 is un with him and it's getting attention. And then he also wrote a letter to President Cyril Ramaphosa with um, no response to that one yet. So what SAFSEC is looking for is a, is a high level meeting between captains of industry and government uh, at a high level again to try and sort out these problems and, and to pay attention to the, to the rapid decline, as SAFSEC says at the moment, the rapid decline of the South African construction industry. And then also they want um, a high level intelligence driven task team to look at the problems the industry faces, especially that kind of mafia style behavior we're seeing on site at the moment to try and find out the root of the problem and, and to try and solve it for the industry. Thank you. That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis. Also, don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News Daily Email Newsletter.